Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and I was just getting ready for work this morning, and I had a little bit of extra time, so I just set up my lights and camera for you so you could all take a look at my day-to-day, -day, you know, work spring makeup. I've already prepped my skin with Max Strobe Cream. You all know that I love to put that moisturizer on before my makeup. It just gives my skin a nice, fresh, dewy glow and keeps it moisturized throughout the day. Under my eyes, I'm going to start out with a little bit of my Pixi Corrector. This is called their Correction Concentrate in Brightening Peach. And I'm just going to take that with my ring finger and place a tiny little bit underneath both of my eyes and then blend it in with my fingertips. I'm going for a lighter look today, even though I have a few blemishes on my face. So I'm using sort of lightweight, creamy, easy products, and then I'm just going to build up the coverage on the blemishes where I need it. Once I have the corrector blended in with my fingertips, I'm then going to take my lovely favorite foundation. This is the Liquid Veil from Pure Minerals, and give that a shake. I'm going to be spraying this onto the back of my hand and using a brush to pick it up to place it on my face. And the brush that I'm going to be using today is from It Cosmetics. This is their, like, double-ended complexion brush. By picking up the product off the back of your hand and using a brush to buff it in, you're getting less product on the brush and putting less product on your face than like I did in my Easter video where I put it directly onto the brush. That gives you more of a full coverage finish with this foundation. And for a little more brightness under my eyes, yes, I'm using one more concealer. This is from Maybelline. This is just their Instant Age Rewind, and I'm just gonna pat that under my eyes just to um, kind of make it look a little bit more bright. I already used that corrector to cancel out any blue or purple tones that I had under my eyes. This is just gonna make it look a little bit brighter and more awake and fresh. To set under my eyes and anywhere I put my concealer, you guessed it, I'm going to use my Le Beige powder from Chanel. This is just the best powder that I've ever used in my life, and I definitely will be repurchasing it when I run out. And I'm just patting this over top of the concealer so I don't kind of disturb the coverage that I just created in those areas, and just, you know, putting it on. Since I haven't powdered my cheeks, I can still go ahead and use cream products there. I'm going to start by taking my Smashbox LA Lights in the shade... Silver Lake Sunset, which is just like a nice peachy kind of color. Very me. And I'm going to twist it up and put that just on the apples of my cheeks and kind of blend upwards. Um, and you can use your fingertips to blend this. I'm going to use my foundation brush just to make sure it gets like a nice seamless edge. And this is so quick and easy. And yeah, like that cheek's already done. This is only my second time trying this product, so I can't give you my full opinion on it yet. But so far, I like it. It lasted pretty well on my skin yesterday. Um, and yeah, it just adds like a nice, fresh, dewy glow to your cheeks. And I like the color that I picked. They have um, like five colors, I think. One of them is a highlighter, one of them is a bronzer, and then the other three are just kind of pinks um, and this peach color. And yeah, it just blends really nice. I like it so far. Being springtime, I still want even more glow on my cheeks, so I'm going to take my Becca Skin Perfector in the shade Opal and just swipe a little bit of that on the top of my cheekbones, a little on the center of the nose, Cupid's bow, and then under my brow bone, and I'm just going to blend that in again with the same foundation brush. Moving right along to bronzer, I'm just taking my Smashbox Sunkissed Matte and putting that around the perimeters of my face. Not contouring today, I'm just kind of glowing the skin up, giving myself a little bit more of a tan. I'm also going to take this onto my neck and any of my chest that's showing from my v-neck. Um, I just actually found out that this is not a thing anymore. Uh, they replaced it with one in a square compact, and I think the texture is different. I feel like it's going to be a little more full coverage. I haven't played with it yet. I just saw it online. Um, and they changed the names. It's like dark and light instead of sun-kissed and sun-tan. Um, but I'm praying that it's just the same thing with a different package. Hopefully it is. I don't think it is, though. Using my typical lash products today, I'm just curling with my Tarte Curler and using my NYX Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Espresso on them. <laughs> I just tried the Silver Lake Sunset on my lips. For me, it's a little bit too pale. I'm going to go and grab something else to put on my lips and be right back. Over that, I'm just going to blend in the tiniest amount of the legendary lip lacquer 8-hour um, wear thing from Smashbox in the shade Coral. And I'm just literally going to put the smallest amount because this stuff is potent. It really stains the lips. 
much better. Time for brows. I'm going to start out with my Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade Light Medium, and I'm just going to put that right through my brows, starting in the middle, because that's where I want the most product, and then flicking it towards the outside, and then up into the inner part of the brow. And if you weren't a crazy perfectionist, you could totally leave the brows there. I am, however, so I'm going to take my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown and just kind of shape around the edges. <laughs> And that is my look done. I'm going to give myself a quick spritz of the MAC Fix Plus on my way out the door just to give my skin an extra bit of that dewy shine. But this is pretty much what I'm going to look like for the day. I hope you all enjoyed this style of sit down quick, getting ready, chatty thing. I've done this before. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Go ahead and check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Both of those things are at John John Talks. Click on my face right now to follow me if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!